man, you know, I'm kind of getting tired of this town. Let's talk, mate, monk. I need some more life. So, yes, back here yet again for more. Uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to find some more stuff, pretty much. Yes. Now, let's see if I can maybe get some ideas from this guy. Okay, what was you saying? Oh, legend speaks of magic artists of travel when the two stars upon the earth awaken. No distance remains between them. trying to tell me, okay. Oh, okay, I guess you're starting, to, you're telling me of something, because I think I've already, I may have used these warp stars that you're talking about already, but just haven't really been thinking about them too hard, and I do not want to talk to that lady in that shop. She, she'll probably want me to take more bombs or something, which I definitely kind of need, unfortunately. Hey, you're new, what's up? It's nice to see you again. Oh, oh, okay, I gotcha. It's safe to return to Kiri Temple, sort of. What's going on in the temple? Guess I did that? That's terrible! Yeah, I know, he's quite the douchebag like that. Alright, so, basically, um... Everybody's... Every sort of thing has changed from that incident in the temple, but at least... I think at least we've gotten some good distance out of this game, honestly. Just need to do more backtracking. So hold on while I go to the Kiri region real fast, because I think I've done a good job exploring the snow region. Could be missing out on some things, but I don't know at this point. So hold on just a moment. And I just had to open my big mouth. Guess what I just stumbled upon while I was walking on in the snow? Huzzah energy! Fuck yes! Yay, now I can get a better weapon! Jeez, so that was a good idea to walk around just a little bit more, so this is more powerful, sweet. Now I just need to find a level 3 sword power-up, that would be nice. So yes, this was definitely found the snow region, just to give you an idea of where I am on this map. I'm right here, huh, that's kind of funny. Probably should explore it a little bit better, damn it. Oh, you want a piece? You want a piece of this new huzzah? I can show you, punks. Alright, let's see how powerful this damn weapon is. One shot's almost. Oh, wow. Definitely almost one shot that guy. Thanks for the money. Brown. Sweet. So, yes, the huzzah is kicking some serious ass right now. <clears throat> Definitely loving that aspect. Now, I think there should be nothing else in this area, so hold on just a moment as I go to the Kiri. Alright, guys, we're now going to the Kiri region. Let's see what we can find over here, because there definitely is... I definitely am stumbling upon stuff that I missed earlier. Dumbass. So, yeah, hopefully I can maybe get something that might help my sword out, because I don't want to feel so weak and fragile at this point. Because it's starting, to, it's starting to come to my attention that my weapons are just getting too weak for future events right now. So yes, I'd say the biggest thing that you should do uh, in this game, guys, after you beat a dungeon or, or and finding yourself having trouble, just wander around a bit and see if you can stumble upon something new. And this looks a little interesting. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, looks like we got a chest that's surrounded by ice pillars. Let's fix that. Ding! Okay, let's see what we got here. There we go, and that takes care of all that shit. And what we get? Sword energy! Fuck yes! Need it! Alright, kick ass. Now it's turning into a witch color now? Ooh, it's more metallic. Sword power increase. So let's see our, how strong our weapons are now. 107, 112. So my weapons are now stronger than my bow and arrows, and they're slightly weaker than my bones that I need to buy. Fuck. But yes, yeah, so it looks like I think I'm all stocked up and ready to kick some ass now. Thank goodness. <coughs> Alright, so now that I got those upgrades out of the way, I think I'm going to start grinding a bit. Because, damn, this next place is really, really gets, has got me worried. I mean, compared to all the places, other places I've been to, how I'm barely scrapping through fights thanks to in innovation and what tax to use and bombs I just happen to have at the time. This thing almost kills this guy. Alright, good job, weapon. Fuck yes. <laughs> damn it. 
So hold on guys while I grind my ass off, and I love how this sword's actually doing enough damage, and I love Wolf Sweet. Alright, so hold on as I grind around the uh, lake region, since I might as well stay around there for a while. Shouldn't be more than a few seconds for you guys, but this should probably take me about a good 10, 15 minutes to, to take care of, I don't know. Maybe the experience will be that good. Hard to say though. What the hell is this exactly? Have I been in this cave already or am I just missing it? No, we've already been here. Ice cavern, yeah. Dead body in front of the doorway? Yeah, definitely reminded me of that. Or reminds me of that. Alright guys, hold on just a minute. I'll be back in the lake region really quick. Okay, there was one last thing I forgot about this place. This thing, you might want to get this star. This MP capacity upgrade. Not a dumb idea, considering that magic is getting more and more useful lately. You drop down here, and we're back to start, basically. So, be sure to pick that thing up. <clears throat> because if you don't, you're gonna be short. Uh, you're gonna be short on magic, pretty much. And definitely, it's getting to the point where, goddamn, everything is taking every... Or taking, like, zero damage from anything else but the magic. But even then, I think I might just need to stock up in general. So, hold on as I grind on the lake region. Alex, don't be looking around like someone's gonna beat you up now. I think everything here is just fine. Audio, er, so see you guys in a bit. You know, guys, I just realized something. The enemy variety here has gotten a lot worse from before. I guess I thought it was just for that early bird. The Asian, or the region east of the, the lake map, but apparently I was getting a little misguided in my thinking. Basically, all the enemies have changed into either one of two kinds. You got these two guys, the fighting mages, I guess. They seem pretty simple and stupid. And did you just body splash my fucking head, douchebag? Yeah, I'd say these guys are a great way to level grind just in case you might need the experience and whatnot. And I think the other kind of enemy well, I bypass that guy somehow is, uh, Fireballs and jabbing in the face where he feels like it, damn it. So, yeah, right now, I'd say this game is gonna get really confusing really fast because this next area coming up, I don't really have a clue of how to get to the fucking village first off. I know it's some it's somewhere in the books, but uh, it's just getting really, it just gets really, uh, you know, if, it, if you know how the ice palace was in uh, A Link to the Past, it's kind of like that, where the game just gets really stump-worthy, where it's like, what the fuck do I do? How the fuck do I solve this puzzle? So yeah, pretty much the goal is to get to the village, but the problem is how the hell do you get to the village? So, all I know so far is I need to find some sort of damn horn along the way. Let's see if we can maybe stumble upon that. Maybe it's not so much here, but in the next area. Let's see if we get the stone golem in this battle. Here we go. Here's some stone golem. How have we met before? We just need to show you off. So this guy's gonna definitely be not too much of a problem. So, definitely want to try to grind here for a bit before we head off to more dangerous areas, because I'm pretty sure the wildlife in the desert is gonna be a problem. <coughs> definitely like how these guys drop a lot more shit than before. It was kind of like old grinding off a lizard man that only dropped like one jade or something. It's like how the heck are you, how the heck can you stock up off of that? And of course this Zaw here is going to definitely be a much stronger weapon. Not by much, but it's going to definitely edge out any competition. Yay, level up. Thank god. Let's see how much, how much that helped the stats. Just by three and four, damn it. I'll take it honestly. So, definitely not a bad idea to level up when you can, and I feel like I'm just wandering off in whatever direction. Where the fuck am I, honestly? Shit. Okay, I should see a river around here somewhere, and then I'm gonna have to follow that river to a bridge. Do, 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 do. There we go. Here's the bridge I'm thinking of. You know what? Maybe I should probably try to explore around here anyway, even though I could possibly get lost in. Damn it. 
Okay, so that boy's probably not a good idea, damn it. Wait, maybe I was on the right side. Okay, now the game's confusing my ass shit. Ooh. Not even on the map anymore. Okay, gonna head north real quick, see if I can maybe find some civilization again. Help me out here, damn it. Okay, so as I get to the damn desert, which should probably take more than a couple minutes because of all this backtracking, wandering around, and getting lost. Okay, am I on the map now, game? Am I not getting lost anymore? Come on. Oh, I'm still not on the map. Shit. Okay, we should be probably coming across that bridge. I need to cross. There we go. Here we go. Okay, so we're going back to the desert again now that we're better stocked and well equipped to kick some ass. Definitely better than before. You know what, just a moment. I feel like a sneeze coming on. There we go. Damn it. Okay, so we're still trying to figure out what the fuck to do exactly. I mean, we went to the Cape Quicksand ca cave, yeah, cave, and that didn't really take me anywhere. It just kind of led me in a loop, and I was just scratching my head what the fuck to do. I guess it's not a bad idea to just explore a little bit more. To see if we can stumble upon something I'm missing. Like, this looks a little ominous. Okay, here's a lion. Not much to do with it, but... I think I'll have to keep track of it somehow. And this place can be very, very confusing. This is basically the point of the game where... Okay, another fucking Triforce? Come on, game! What's the point of these damn Triforces anyways? They're glowing blue. So I guess... <clears throat> I'll have to figure that out, but... Why is the game doing that sort of thing? It just seems kind of, uh, mocking, and apparently the... Didn't expect to see an ocean next to a desert, honestly, but... I guess it might make sense. The Nile does have that long-ass river that eventually ends up to an ocean, but nevertheless... I'm kinda stumped at what to do, honestly. This is worth. I remember getting stumped or stuck at this point in the game for a long ass time until just having. giving up and maybe looking for some help. Right now I'm trying to look if there's some sort of other cave I should be coming across, and this cave looks a little different. Let's take a look inside it real quick. I mean, it wouldn't hurt, I mean. This cave seems to be a dead end at this point. Wait, who the hell are you? Who are you? What I think you are? I'm a wandering- Aw, oh, damn it! Wandering healer! Well, at least you don't didn't raise the price on me. So I guess I'll pay this guy to heal, like, two inches of my health bar and see... And make him- probably make him as a temporary, uh, base until I get my bearings around here. So next time, guys, I think we're gonna do is to explore more of this desert and see if I can figure out what the fuck to do here. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and adios.